All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. I wanted to take a quick look at the weed sector, and I'll be honest, Tilray did not do what I was expecting today. Um, I don't know if I have to worry that this 200 line broke or not. So I think that's kind of going to be the, the big story here. But yeah, truth be told, if I made a video yesterday about Tilray, I would have said we're going up. Honestly, it, it looked like the 200 was ready to go. It seemed like we were kind of ready to go here, give or take, you know what I mean? So um, I'm, I'm real honest. Obviously, I could lie and say, oh, yeah, I foresaw this and blah, blah, blah. Nah, dude, if I made a video yesterday, I, I very much would have looked foolish today. So I'll at least give that level of honesty and then we'll talk about what I'm kind of seeing here, okay? Um, I do not know what Sandal's chart looks like. SNDL, you know I love calling that Sandal. That's that's from the heart. Believe me, it's not an insult, but um, that's pretty much going to be a live view here. I really don't know what that's doing. I want to talk about CGC again. I can't believe it got over the 100 moving average. I really actually wasn't expecting that. It wasn't the most beautiful candle, but it got over it. And that's actually something I talked about on the last video, which was basically, dude, just get over it and then recover on it and then run. So CGC is actually setting itself up very, very well for success in all honesty. And part of that means giving it the best ability to do a healthy cool down with minimal damage, all right? So I'll talk about that a little more. And then if I've got time, I'll throw in high tide. I know a lot of people love looking at high tide. So before I go any further though, what am I gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moves moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad. Look, anything you can do helps me out so, so much. For real, sharing the video actually does the most because I'm not really that good at it in all honesty, but just being here, giving me your time, oh man, I appreciate you so, so much, all right? So let's get into it. And again, Tilray, I'm zoomed out like this for a reason, all right? And I think I actually have to zoom out a little bit more. I do because I remembered this. Um, let's actually zoom out one more. Why not? Let's keep going. So look, this is the good view. Since right here, since July 2021, more than a full two years, we have been basically well under the purple 200 moving average line. This is the last of the five moving averages for a reason, all right? And I think this two-year window of just three days speaks for itself, all right? This is not an easy line to break, and honestly, it doesn't matter what the stock is. It doesn't matter what the sector is. This helps put everything kind of in a neutral playing field, you know what I mean? So I don't care if you sell weed, I don't care if you sell electric vehicles, I don't care if you're doing just shipping things, or you're a loan company, or you're a bank. End of the day, that 200 is no joke, all right? And I'll be honest, again, I, I can't stress this enough. I thought we were ready to go, all right? I think the answer might be this. You know, and it's funny, because I normally wouldn't have said we needed to confirm the break of this. I think this was a really good break of several moving averages. I think this was a really, really nice confirmation of that. This day right here actually puts us over this candle as well. That right there just seemed beautiful, and it seemed like the continuation would go. Our RSI wasn't even that high. What was it yesterday? It was 70. 70 is not that high. I'm just zooming out to see how high were you? Damn, it's been a while since the RSI has actually even hit the 80s. The last time it hit the 80s looks like where I'm hitting right now, which was March of last year, a little more than a year and a half ago, right? You can see it was this little moment in the 80s. You were only 78. You were only 76. You were only 75. It's, it's been a year and a half since the RSI has gotten to 80. That's a little, that's a little embarrassing in all honesty. Um, 
man, honestly, I'm just sitting here and looking and trying to like understand why it kind of seems like we're curving back down instead of continuing on up. And I think, again, the moral of the story is this 200 moving average is no joke. Um, believe me, I see the golden cross right there. I see the golden crosses right here. I can't help focusing on, are we about to come back into it? You know, and it, 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 it sucks because look at this really since the late August time for no late July. Wow. From late July all the way through, it looks like there's been a lot better buying than selling. Obviously, you can see the 50 day average has been growing and growing and growing. It's going up, which is important. And more than anything, I'm definitely seeing bigger buys. And despite the fact that there's probably more sells, I think end of the day, there's there, the offset is probably going to give the better side to the green candles. I hope I said that correctly. I think there was way too many words to explain it, but I see more little red candles, but I think the green candles are big enough to where in this little circle, green volume is beating the red volume. That's kind of what I was trying to say in that last minute, all right? Yes, I see an uptrend, all right? That's, that's a really easy thing to see and get excited about. I'm actually really glad to see the eight moving average still going up too, right? So so I don't want to take away from that. I'm telling you, I think I'm, I'm a little perplexed that we're curving back down on the candles. Then, Because look, we actually closed below the last two days. I don't like that we completely ate these two candles. This one went down, this one went up, this one went down. I don't like that, I really don't. I don't know if it means something, I'm not really a candle trader, but end of the day, I don't like losing candles, right? Like if we're going up, we're gonna keep going up. As I start to lose one, two, I'm worried if we're gonna lose three on, right? So we shouldn't go any lower than this. I, I would find it very, very hard to believe we'll go lower than 260 as well. I, I This is a good cluster of three lines, all right? Um, that said, if 260 is lost, that's the oh my goodness line, and you start to get a little worried right there that you might be dropping down to here, all right? But um, yeah, this is an interesting one. Let's see if the weekly... Okay, okay, maybe this helps explain it a little better. This 50 moving average is no joke. This 50 moving average is the same time frame as that 100 on the daily. I, I understand maybe a little bit more. I would say at least the weekly is doing as good as it can. We'll, we'll give it that because this one was actually the first time over it. This one didn't get over it neither. Wow. All right. Maybe, maybe we can explain it to the 50 moving average on the weekly. Maybe I'm not sure if I would have caught it on the la on if I made a video yesterday or not. I'm not, I have no idea. Um, I'm obviously seeing things a little bit differently because I know what today did, right? But um, yeah, this is an interesting one. End of the day, I think I think the whole story is break the 200 and fly. Otherwise, we're 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 stuck in the moving averages. Let me know your thoughts and opinions here for sure. Okay. S N D L. All right. Very, very similar chart to, to Tilray, okay? Clearly not as high over the 200, but it is the exact same story. It is the exact same story. It looked like we were finally ready to break the 200. We were finally ready to break all five and fly. Today didn't, didn't do horrible, but it didn't do great. All right, we're still over 50% candle and we're still over the 200. I do like that. But yeah, I think the goal would look at look at where we ended too. There was nothing but red, 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 red. I'm surprised we didn't go up to 206. I am. I am. There, yeah, there's there's actually nothing more I can say. And I think that the the same thoughts echo on Tilray. Let's see again the 50 moving average on the weekly. Interesting. It's an interesting theme. I'm, I, I swear I didn't know that before I hit record. I, again, I don't know if I'm putting too much emphasis because I see that today was a red surprising day, right? Like, I mean, obviously, yeah, I'm only human, baby. I can only tell you what I know, right? But I, I think it's really interesting that these two are trapped on the 50 on the weekly as well as on the 200 on the daily, almost like perfectly together, right? Tilly, like I said, is a little higher, but I think the fact that Sandal's doing it too, um, it's interesting. It, it, it is. Um, 
I don't have too too much more to say on this one. I swear, actually, I think it's the it's it, if you didn't watch the Tilray part, I'm really sorry, but I I would basically be repeating the same things I said for the last like nine minutes on this thing. But Sandal, it looked like it was gonna break the 200, but it didn't. Just zoom out and don't pretend like it's been a long time since we've been over that line. You know what I mean? So a little bit more recently than Tilray, I'll at least say it at least had a better moment right here, but. Yeah, there's not too much more here. That is Sandal. All right, let's talk about CGC, okay? CGC did a really, really important thing today. I care less about the 17% gain, which is beautiful, by the way. I am not trying to take anything away from that. What I love is CGC was able to get itself over the 100 moving average just as the RSI was getting too high. In my head, the stock is going to need to cool down. It's going to need to come down. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it never goes below that 100 moving average blue line. If that's the case, this RSI can reset itself, give itself another little bit of juice, and we start climbing to this dollar number. And then after the dollar number, I mean, it's, it's, it's psh, Jesus, you know what I mean? But today was a very, very important day, especially if you watched yesterday's video, because I did cover CGC yesterday. The fact that it got over the 100, I actually really didn't expect it. And like I said, more than anything, it's setting itself up to cool down the best it could. Because if it didn't, if it closed right here and never got over the 100, the next logical place for it to cool down is all the way down here. It is, it's at, at the best, maybe 60 something, more than likely, yeah, still 60 something, even likely down here in the 50s, if not right here in the 50s, right? Now, like I said, I think it's gonna be really, really hard to lose 73. I think it's gonna be even harder to lose 69. And that is the best way to do a healthy cool down. You know what I mean? So CGC, there's actually still a lot of reason to love it. I still think a healthy cool down is gonna come and it's not a bad thing. We'll keep diverging with the MACD. This is gonna reset itself. I, I am really, really liking what CGC did today. That's for sure. This is a beautiful setup on the weekly. This is the first week in a long while since since late 22, right? That that we've been over that 20 moving average. Look, good things happen over the eight and the 20 on the daily. Good things happen on the weekly as well. So a lot to like on CGC for sure. Nice. High Tide, we'll do it real quick. Oh, look at where High Tide is. You're over the 200, baby. Whoa, I did not expect to see this. I'm glad I came and looked at this thing. Oh, 154 money line. Yeah, 154 money line. Break this. Ooh, your boy's setting an alert. 156. High tide. No way. Interesting. I think there's a lot of potential here. Ooh, interesting. I did not expect that making this video, I swear. I think this one is a juicy setup right here. Actually, look, it's been a long, long time since the 200's been anything, all right? We we went horizontal as long as we could. There were some scary thoughts of us losing this 107. I, I remember talking about that. Did a really, really good job, and now we are knocking on the door of breaking the 200. We are physically over all five and ready to fly. I think if the first three stocks were a little hotter, it would have been better. I think the fact that CGC is looking good, it gives me belief that like, yeah, oh, I like high tide. Oh my goodness, look at this weekly. Next week is gonna be really important on high tide. Really important. I wouldn't be surprised if we wick like 160 something. That's at least another 10% here. Interesting, high tide, it caught my eye, I'll say that. Hey, let me know your thoughts and opinions, otherwise you know it, thank you, thank you.